you know, and I'll say for the record, a lot of teams in these playoffs have many questions to answer once this year is over. One of the themes of uh, one of the themes I've I've said coming to these playoffs is that this playoffs is about windows. Many of these elite teams, these playoff teams, we don't know how long the window's going to be. This team's the windows could be ending this year, could be maybe a year, two years. And there's, there's a lot more teams that have small windows to be given credit for. Let's start the first one here, the most obvious one, the Warriors, the, 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 the well, defending champions. Well, no, as as of the, the, until, until last night, a lot of questions to be answered on Golden State. Where, where do you stand on the Warriors now? Where, where, what's the future looking at? You think? Well, it goes all all the way back to the trade deadline. Yeah. The fact they gave up all of that size. The moment they did that, they were saying, okay, we're playing Kaminga, Looney, and Green at center against Jokic, Aiton, AD, uh, at the time, Steven Adams for Memphis. There were just so many bigs in the Western Conference, and they were going to try and go and play against them all with no size. So I start with that that missed trade. Mm-hmm. I think that was te- a terrible trade. So you're referring to the James Wiseman trade? Yes. But then, I'm, with ha- having the Draymond pull incident to start the season, I I thought it was. I thought the season was pretty much over if they play. They kept them together. You don't think that was a little over? over talked about that whole thing i mean it happened literally like eight months ago like do you think they moved on from that well you got to think about how would the season have started out if if that wouldn't have happened right would they have would they have been winning on the road instead of having one of the worst road records in history for an nba champ I mean, maybe. So the, I mean, it's the science. I, I, I'll say this much: if you believe that that whole thing played into what became a team that struggled to get the playoffs, let's be, let's be, keep it real. They were a six seed, but that was up in the air until the like last couple of days of the season. Okay, they were almost a playing team, um, and then they get by Sacramento on seven, and of course they they lose the Lakers in six. Yeah. If you believe if you believe that those those signs between the the the, the punch that happened with the with Draymond. And pool, and you know, before the season started, which turned to the road, road, the road woes, of course. I think that the, the, signs were there. the whole struggle out the gate where Curry was having to do everything just to keep the team afloat. Yeah. While Clay Thompson couldn't find, find, find the basket because up until January, he, honest to God, could not score. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a real struggle for the, for the team out the gate. And then you make a trade when you're seeing which teams you're you might have to face off in the playoffs and you're thinking 6869 against agile athletic centers that are 7 foot tall. You just had no size down low. I think the the logic there for the Warriors is probably that okay, so the only center we're probably going to face in the playoffs at the time that trade happened it was a January thing. It was a late early February. Um, was probably Jokic, Nicole Jokic in Denver because I I don't think maybe they thought the Lakers would be a factor in the playoffs wow. until after the fact. Golden State couldn't do anything in Memphis. Why? Because they couldn't play down low, and that was when when Adams was still healthy. Right. You know, when you lose your two centers, it's real hard to play against AD and LeBron in that size. So you have to think about it both ways. Mm -hmm. How far would the Lakers be getting if they weren't playing against the two smallest teams in the playoffs? This is true. They they caught a break. They caught a in terms of matches. The Lakers caught a break definitely. Um, but now the Warriors. Okay, look, they they this team's won four titles in eight years. Well, nine years now with this loss this year. Um, lots of questions. Uh, Draymond Green can opt out his contract. He has said today on record on his podcast that uh, he wants to remain Warriors his career. He has no interest in leaving the team. Then I mean, he must be playing on the final year of his career because he has to opt in. 
I can't imagine anyone's going to give him a 30, 30 million a year contract. So he's due this year, next year, if he opts in $27 million, $27.5 yeah. million. Okay. If he opts in, it's a player option, obviously. Um, I mean, look, the Warriors have easily the 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 biggest payroll in the history of basketball. Um, so a lot of questions to be made to, to, to answer there. I think another question to be answered is about is Clay Thompson. Uh, Clay Thompson filing his contract next year, do four three million dollars. Didn't play well down the stretch. He he actually played well as the season went on, and then down the stretch was inconsistent as hell. And this series with Lakers, he was couldn't find a shot. Yeah. What was game? What was game six? Clay? What was game six? Clay yesterday. You know, I mean, that is, is it time now for the Warriors to maybe consider moving him now, given the fact that he would actually he would be an expiring deal next year, actually, too, also on top of that. Yeah, he would be attractive. And I thought that was the point of signing Jordan Poole was yes. you were you were replacing Clay Thompson as the scorer. Except Jordan well, Poole was, was worse than he was in the series. Yeah. And he chose to he chose not to even try on defense. Oh, he was hor- horrific. And it makes you wonder if the punch that happened or put a year started, like more people on are side with Draymond now on that based on how pool, pool played in this down the stretch here. Well, he, I think when Draymond punched him, it punked him. It punked him on his team, and it punked him in the league. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anybody playing defense against them can rough them up because they know Draymond's not, or I mean, they know that Poole's not going to retaliate. So, yeah, I I think that's, I think his, all of his confidence gone. Any swag he has, it's gone. And I, I don't know if it could come back. So I'm looking at the payroll right now. So, you know, if, if you, I mean, the Warriors, the, the Warriors could hypothetically run this back one more year. Yeah. If it really could. Draymond, if Draymond and Davincio opt in, they're they're with tax. Di, 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 Di seven. Yeah. Divincenzo, right? Yeah. So Divincenzo has a has a player option four point seven. He might opt out of that contract though. Yeah. He may have a market for somewhere else. Yeah, for three for thirty. Yeah, that's still more. Absolutely. Than, Absolutely. You know, a lot of questions to be answered here. Um, and does I I know owner has been very very much open to paying and they have no problem. Going well into luxury tax, but the C- the new CBA now is now is making it hard for teams like Golden State, for example, to continue doing this. Yeah, I I think they can't go more than five years out with their draft picks. Yeah, uh, they're they're limited on the amount of an exception they can now give to a veteran minimum. So, so I guess the first question I'm gonna ask you is this: Then, um, with Clay Thompson, do you? foresee a future if you're if you're the Warriors ownership he's due four three million this next year then he's a free agent do you give an extension or do you shop him around or do you wait out the season and see what happens and maybe test the market maybe he'll test the market next year and year after next and see if, where his value is if I am the GM of Golden State I find any way in the world that someone will take his contract and Somehow lighten my tax burden all the way around. So you're basically, you're basically saying it's time to split the slash brothers. If I am the GM of Golden State, I'm getting a burner phone and I'm putting out statements that I'm hearing that teams are willing to offer Draymond Green ninety million over thirty year over three years. Like, I would be putting out stuff to make it sound like Draymond has a market so that he opts out and I find a market for Clay, and then I can be saved and start re- rebuilding my team while Curry is still great. Curry is the only guy in this. We, I think we all agree that Curry is the only guy on this roster that's untouchable. You can't trade Curry. Now, if traded. If Curry decides he wants to be wants to leave, then you trade him. Yeah, but I still continue to try and build around him. So you say if you're Suns ownership, Suns front office, you shop play. It's time. If I'm Golden State's, yeah. 
So you're saying that Draymond has more, more value than Clay does right now? At this point? No. I'm saying I don't want either either guy on my payroll starting next season. Oh, you're saying you want both those guys gone? Yeah. Ooh. I would be putting out talk to Ian Rappaport or whoever. Not well, not Stephen A. Be, it, 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 well, be NBA, but probably yeah. who, who would it be? Would it be like a uh, Chris Chris Haynes or uh, uh, who's the NBA guys? <laughs> JJ, uh, JJ Redick, uh, Kendrick Perkins, maybe. <laughs> I'd be putting it out that hey, organize it. Organ. I'm hearing organizations are thinking of offering Draymond thirty million a year over three years. You know, something big so that they're like Draymond thinks, hey, I can leave twenty seven million on the table. And go somewhere. He may still opt out. He may opt out. I don't think he's that dumb. I don't think he thinks he can get a big contract again. And say he finishes this contract. Well, then he can re-sign for like five, ten million. And you know what? That's like going anywhere for two for forty and still being on a championship winning team. Is Jordan Poole the worst contract right now in the league? Oh God, no. It, it, could, it could potentially be if this continues next year. Are you serious? It, it's $30 million a year. For a guy that averaged, what, five points in the series? Who's supposed to be your, 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 your sixth man, people call it? You know who's making twice that amount? Yeah. And can't even get a team into the play-in tournament? Who's that? Bradley Beal. Okay. That's the worst contract in all of basketball. Like, and we argued this actually on the podcast back, you know, last year. Remember that? Yeah, you know how owners in the NFL are upset at Haslam for giving Deshaun Watson that contract. This is more embarrassing to give a guy of Bill's talent, who's not even top twenty-five, sixty million a year at the end like that is the worst contract in the league and you destroyed your franchise for another five years down the road well i mean i i, I see what you're saying there i just think that you got you got you have another four years of pools contract or, th- or three years of pools contract 30 million plus each year yeah. in addition to what you have to do with, with clay and and draymond whew, they got they got a lot of answers questions to answer well, and, well, I'll give you a team who would be more than happy to take a flyer on it, on Jordan Poole's contract, Houston, because they've already gotten screwed with uh, their last two two first round draft picks. They're terrible at scoring. They're they're shooting field goal range mid thirty fives. Jalen Green, Jabari Smith, they can't score. They got they got cap room, don't they? Oh, they got a ton of cap room, and they get the the they'll prop on my. Well, we'll find out in a, in a week or two. But the women Yama Street Stakes, you know, if they get them one pick, yeah. Um, but so, yeah, I don't believe Jordan Poole's contract is anywhere near that. That it's that a, untradeable. But it's you know exactly. It's amazing though how like perspective is always reality. If the Warriors were, were, were continuing winning, if they're going, if they're going to the conference finals and the Lakers right now. No one, no, these numbers, no one cares. Oh, you're still, still winning. Oh, the, I, it's, 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 it's so amazing how, like, you start, you lose the second round of playoffs right next year after winning the championship. That, oh my God, these are bad contracts now. Holy crap. No, see, here's the thing. They're, these are all bad contracts, and it doesn't matter if they, they were to win the finals. All right. Oh, okay. We, we had this discussion going into this last season, and I talked about how. If they brought everyone back, their payroll was going to be almost four hundred million. Yeah, and now it's going to be almost a half a billion dollars, four fifty-seven, and that's without signing any any veterans to fill the holes on the roster. I think it's more likely that they run this back one more year. God bless that ownership, then. Nothing they can do about that. I mean, unless you let, I mean, unless Draymond, I, I, look, I, people keep saying much about Draymond leaving and stuff. And I, I, I think it's, it's, it's a, I'm, I'm kind of with you, to be honest with you, that there's a, there's a strong chance he may re up another year 
and yeah. try to see if you can get a, a, a smaller extension with Golden State, a little two three years extension. So you keep asking about that. You think they can? The, will they rerun it? You know, how many other owners could even financially afford this? None. Their fans. But 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 but, but all the penalties involved? No. But yeah. but 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 Zach, they already committed to this though. They committed to doing this for the last couple of years. Yeah, and eventually everything stops. Eventually, there is that cliff where one by one they have to go. So that's why I'm saying I don't see how they can run it back. Mm. So you're saying that it's time to put Clay on the market. It's time to let hopefully let Draymond opt out of his contract and don't, just don't touch him. They built the CBA to penalize the Warriors specifically. Yes. So I've been saying window the 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 theme of this postseason is windows. The window and, isn't closed. It's who you fill around stuff that matters. Who can you get that's like a clay that can you know reset the clock? The only person, the only player I can I can see that the Warriors getting that has some better with clay, but a lot younger is someone like Jalen Brown, for example. Oh, you can't, you can't do that. He's up for a five-year, two hundred ninety million. And the only reason you even consider to get Jalen Brown because he he's younger than Clay Thompson. Yeah, that's the only reason why you you go in, into that into that hole. The only way you do that is if if you have Draymond leaving, or you can also trade Pull's contract because they have a specific point now in the con- CBA. They can't even take more than 110% of the money back. Wow. Contract. So, which means you're going to see more, more parity in this league, even more, which is good for the league, to be honest with you. I, I think it's good for the league. If, if, if you're a fan of the league as a whole um, and you like seeing competition, this is great for the league, obviously. I, I agree. Yeah. If, if you're a fan of big market teams, AKA New York Knicks, AKA Boston Celtics, AKA Golden State Warriors, obviously, Lakers as well, too. This is not good news.